Captain Kautz substitute. Captain John Kautz was a fairly typical sea captain, rough and ready for whatever life might bring. But he was not ready for death. He was sick at sea, and he knew he had little time left. He was afraid of death and of the eternity beyond it. The captain sent for his first mate and said, Williams, <clears throat> I need you to pray with pray for me. I, you know I've been a godless and harsh man, and I know I'm not going to make it this time. I'm not praying. I'm not a praying man, Captain. I don't know how to pray. I, w I would if I could. Well, bring a Bible and find something to read to me. I'm not going to last much longer. I don't have one, Captain. I'm not religious. Then send for Palmer. Maybe he knows how to pray. The second mate came and the captain said Palmer I'm not going to get any better and I'm not going to last until we reach port I want you to pray for me ask God to have mercy on my sinful soul I would if I could captain but I haven't prayed since I was a boy well then do you have a bible you can read to me no sir I don't own a bible they searched the ship for a man who could pray or who had a Bible. Finally, one of the sailors told the captains he had seen a book that looked like a Bible in the hands of the cook's helper, young Willie Platt. Go find the boy and see if, if he has a Bible, ordered the captain Cox. The sailor hurried off to find Willie and asked him, Willie, do you have a Bible? Yes, sir, but I only read it on my own time. Don't worry. Just get the Bible and go to cap the captain's cabin. He's dying and wants a Bible. Willie got his Bible and reported to the captain. The captain said, sit down and find something that will help me. I'm not going to live much longer. Help find something about God willing, uh, having mercy on a sinner and read it to me. Willie remembered that his mother had him write, read Isaiah 53 just before he left home for sea. He turned to that wonderful chapter which tells so wonderfully uh, the love and mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ in dying for sinners. He began to read it to the chapter verse by verse. When Willie got to the fifth verse, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. The captain, who was listening intently, realized that that verse told him that he needed to know to be saved from his sin. Stop, boy, he ordered. That sounds like it. Read it again. Once more, Willie read the joyous words of hope. Aye, that's good. That's it, I'm sure. Hearing the captain's remark encouraged Willie. And he said, Captain, when I was reading that verse at home, my mother made me put my name in it. May I read it to you that way? Yes, boy, put your name in right where your mother told you, and read it to me again. When Willie had finished reading, the captain reached toward Willie and said, Now read it again, boy, and put my name, John, in there. Willie slowly read, He was wounded for John's transgressions. He was bruised for John's iniquities. The chastisement of John's peace was upon him, and with his stripes, John is healed. When Willie had finished, the captain dismissed him, he then leaned back on his bed and repeated over and over again those precious words of Isaiah 53, 5, putting in his own name each time, and he repeated them. The truth of those words entered his heart and filled his soul with joy. Finally, the captain had peace. In the little time he had left before he passed away, Captain John Coates told everyone on the ship that the Christ of God the man who died on Calvary's cross was wounded for his transgressions, bruised for his iniquities, that the chastisement that he rightly deserved had fallen on Jesus, his blessed substitute, and with his stripes, the punishment that Jesus bore, he had been healed. His sins were gone forever. How about you? Have you thought seriously about your sins and about this salvation that God is offering to you right now? Have you taken your true place as a helpless sinner before him and trusted in his son, Jesus, Jesus, for 
healing from your sins. The same peace that Captain Couch found can be yours too. God commanded and displays his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ.